Now here's the first update of the evening. I've got this all dug down to where it's level with the bottom of the pickup cavity. I'm going to go down as far as that just to give me a little lip on the back here. And that sets my fretboard height 20 millimeters over the top of this. So what I'm going to do right now is I started, I'm going to take 10 millimeters off the bottom. Got it marked out. Got the saw started all the way around. Got it all straight. Starting to go around that. So I'm going to knock off 10 millimeters from there. And then I'll do the rest of the the rest of the uh, alignment and uh, break angle on on this piece here. So that's just a quick update where I'm at. I'll cut this off and come back and show you how it fits and and uh, move on from there. So yay, it's long long day as you'll hear probably in the video. I'm not sure how much how much the old ride as they get closer and further away. But let's start off with where we're at here. Okay, so I started out with this being so crooked, I had to find a center line somehow. So, since the pickups are the main thing that we would have to align with the strings and all to make it look right, uh, I drew my center line off of that 74 millimeters. So, 74 millimeters with center line at 37 right there so I've got my center line alright going by that I put the neck in when I had the had the pocket open and I could move it around I lined the neck in and clamped it up to where the center line of the neck was even with the center line on the body so that said this is where we're sitting right now with the neck butted up against my, my top part of my joint there, which is what I've been going with my guideline. Since I have to play around and fill in this back here, it's, it's now loose, but that's going to get filled in, and uh, that's the next piece of the puzzle. But for now, let's look at where the neck is. That's that's where the old neck was, or well, the neck the neck joint when it was uh, loose in there and lined up with the center line. Same thing on this side. So we are about as centered as I can get it by hand, I mean, without having CNC or, or routers and making it all perfect. So we are now straight that gives us that now here's here's where the funky part is and what really threw me off was when we put the bridge in people noticed that those hole spacings were really really weird and you're right they are so start by setting that in there getting our strings back on okay so If, we, if I center the post on the hole, you can see everything's shifted that way. And if we come down the neck, as we see, everything is still shifted that way. So if we pull the, the bridge back on the far side, on the low side, that puts us more more back in line with with where we want to be. All right, so this is now all the way this way in the holes, and it lines up the string line, and it's a straight pull off the bridge. So the holes are shifted um, that way by about three millimeters to get the whole spacing center center. Now, that said, <clears throat> I looked at this and I measured from the nut to the bridge here, center of the hole, they have it set for 600 and, uh, was it, 630, and now I'm going to measure it again. Uh, Yep, 
Yeah, they have it set for 635 on the low end and 625 on the high string. That's 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 10 millimeters on that tiny bridge. That, the bridge won't cover 10 millimeters. So I'm going to have to fill these in just to, to get everything perfectly straight and the way the way I'm planning on doing this and to keep it in line with the, the pickups and all that stuff. So. Now if you look here also, standard issue two quarters underneath the bridge as your base point. And the strings are just resting on the on the on the neck. And that's with with the nut in and that nut was set pretty low I love the, the uh, string spacing on this when I first picked it up it wasn't much it wasn't much more different than that so we're going to stay with that, that that theory there but these holes are going to get filled in I'm going to next cut a block of wood to fit in here going all the way all the way to the back of the neck so I can fill in carve it and fill in underneath here I don't like that I don't care what anybody says oh Gibson does it all the time on some models I don't like that open area like that that's just a dirt collector and just a problem so yep. alright let's start the day off sun's so starting to move over out of the way here so I can work without getting sunburnt and, and cooking got, uh, got the start of the neck block here or the, the filler piece put in, glued up last night, so we're going to start by um, taking the clamps off and gearing up to work on that. So, see if I can do this without spilling my coffee and dropping the neck on the floor. piece in. So see if I can get close up on the joint. I think I did reasonably well filling that in. <laughs> so the plan for today is I'm gonna cut this off flush here. And I'm gonna leave this this part thick. I'll hit that with the uh, um, spindle sander to get it close later once I shape it. But in this piece here, I got to cut in across here and then across this flat piece here so it fits in, in the pocket. And then I want to cut, if it'll stay, I'm going to cut this section here where it fits contour to that piece right in there so it overlaps. I don't like the, the, the less paws that have that gap underneath the the fretboard there and I think having another another point of attachment on this side would, would definitely benefit the strength of uh, what we're trying to do here so let me get on with that and I'll update later a few hours later so here's where we stand on the carving we are getting her fit in but Man, that is time consuming to do this, but you know what? I think it's going to pay off. Right now it's in there. I got a little bit more to start dropping down, little by little. But right now the, the strings are lined up straight. This, this gap here will need a little bit of touch up sanding. And when I get down to here, I'm going to round all that off and carve it. I got to go this way. About Three, two or three millimeters this way, but now I can start carving this undercut under here where it rises up over that little bow and as I get it down lower and lower and lower it'll fit better and better. So, next round. A quick overview before these storms hit. Starting to get a little, a little cloudy, cloudy, cloudy.
That's the joint. Just sitting there. Just going to fill in that one piece right in there. But I'll do that after I glue the neck in. And run the strings out straight. Yeah. How's that for alignment? So, we're going to call that a day. I'm going to glue it up in, uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to take a few days off. My hands are killing me. Alright, I think we are ready for the glue up. Got everything. Seated there. Got the strings just about sitting right on the fret line. Lined up nice and straight. Got my typical two quarters underneath the uh, the bridge. So I think we are close enough to do this. Anything from there is just fiddled messing around <laughs> so there's a little bit of back bow in the in the neck so um got to account for that that's going to basically raise this string tight uh height a little bit when it when it comes up so if i uh take the quarters out from beneath the the bridge the strings barely the barely 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 touch so with it sitting on the sitting on the body, and there's absolutely just nothing there. <laughs> In one quarter brings the strings up to where they sit in the saddles, but still touch. I'll touch the the final frets there so I think that's close enough to get a seriously super low action again the way I had before so I am going to go ahead and glue this up so let me get my stand out here so I can do it on camera and uh, I have to hold the phone and try to try to clamp and and call everything so be right back all right here we go let's pull this all apart and Get ready for the glue up. See the neck joint is strong and fairly tight, not super super tight that it's not gonna stay in there. Mix up the glue. And of course, dummy me forgot to bring bring out uh, some cloth. But we'll deal with it. Hopefully all this is seen on camera.
Okay, here we go. Well, that slid in there nice. <laughs> Guess that glue makes a nice lubrication. Make sure our strings are straight. Okay, everything looks good from here. So. Squeeze out, squeeze out, and squeeze out. So, while that's sitting here, I'm going to grab something to wipe this stuff on in a second, and we'll be right back. You miss me? <laughs> Alright, so evidently this now looks like it's a guitar. And uh hopefully it all stays together. Yes, I know there's an overhang there. I left purposely left that so I can blend that all in there. There we have it. If anything goes bad from here, <laughs> guess what? Bonfire time after all that work. <laughs> now, if anything, like I said, it's still it's still a paint project. If anything, but if I can make it an actual playable guitar, it will find a new home somewhere. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up stuff out here and watch the glue dry. <laughs> <laughs>